It's tournament day. It is 1,500 points, the path to glory, tournament number one. It's a four-tournament series in Barrie, Ontario, Canada. ITC-sanctioned, highly competitive, and I am taking my army. It's um, a combination of Eldar and Dark Eldar, but it's mostly Eldar. Hmm, so sneaky, sneaky, scary taking a mostly Eldar army to the event. Okay, wish me luck. So here in the parking lot at the Bayfield Mall, the games are at Sig Games a lot and just getting started, but it's going to be a good time. So stay tuned for some action at the tournament as well as other stuff to do. Leave a comment down below, check the links for more information. Round one of the Path to Glory. I'm playing a Necron Decurion with a Renegade Knight. With a Knight. So two Canoptic Harvests, lots of Scarabs. Um, it's last turn objective grab, so we have an objective behind here, we have an objective in the middle, we have an objective by the Knight, we have an objective down here. All I deploy is my Wraith Knight and my Farseer. And everything else is in reserve. My wall of trade is reroll reserves. And I've got an Autark, so I'm hoping that that's going to pay off. Okay, moving on to the first round. Okay, end of round one, and it is a tabling. I completely annihilated the Necron Force. I put invisibility on the Wraith Knight, and the Wraith charged up the middle, and the Wraith Knight jumped in and then stomped all the wraiths to death. And then all my reserves came on, starting to take objectives. The warp spiders took this flank, and the rest of the army took this flank with the deep striking. The fire dragons with the webway portal taking out the knight in the backfield. And then the, at the end of turn six, there were no necrons remaining. 20 point sweep for the Dark Eldar and Eldar. And now I'm going to probably play Tau and Eldar. Very nasty uh, drone network list. We shall see. That's Fred. You've seen it on the channel. Very good. He's not brought his Necrons today. Something completely different. Let's move on to round two. Round two. Fighting Fred and his Storm Surge, Farsight Enclave suit, and drone network with Eldar allies, which is 10 scat bikes and a jet bike farseer. So we're looking at some nastiness going on in round two. The mission is table quarters, which you get points for controlling table quarters. Since he has a lot of obsec, it's gonna be hard for me to get that point, and then kill points as well. We have first blood up for grabs, as well as a couple of other things. Okay, moving on to the game. Okay, round two went to five turns. I lost primary by one point, so that was an, uh, a loss for primary. We drew on kill points, which was secondary, and uh, we each got two points apiece for tertiary objectives. Um, actually, I got three points. Okay. And we'll be back right after this. Okay, round three. I'm playing a Gladius Strike Force. I'm playing uh, Suppression, Whirlwind Force, and a lot of Rhinos in the back there. And we're playing King of the Hill, so most units within 12 inches of the center of the objective board. <laughs> Max is being a jerk. You know him from the channel. <laughs> photobomb, photobomb. Oh no! Oh my goodness! You know him. Okay, we'll be back after this. Okay, so playing round three against... Um, Battle Company and the Dark Eldar Eldar have uh, taken the victory with some secondary points. What a crazy game. So many kill points. Out of 59 points of Battle Company, there's a Rhino with the Devastators and a Command Squad and four Marines left. Everything else is dead. Wow, it's crazy. I've never played against so many Rhinos in my life. Um, <laughs> that was fun. It went back and forth, back and forth. The Wraith Knight died to grab. Um, I basically pushed up this flank here, knocked out one flank, and then kind of swept into the middle. Okay, moving on to round four. Okay, final round. I'm playing Geoff, and he has bought Blood Angels. He is on the top tables 
he beat the Taldar army that I played on round two. So, we're going to play the uh, drop pods, the scouts with bolters for infiltrate, a couple of assault units in drop pods, two fast moving vindicators, a knight, a collector's assassin in a drop pod. Um, all in all, it looks pretty cool. And Geoff and I are going to face down in the final round. Okay, end of the game against Geoff and the Blood Angels have taken a loss with the fire dragons in the raider blowing the knight up epically the knight scattered 10 inches in the middle of all his troops killing a vindicator scouts and it was just it was just bad <laughs> so um the eldar dark eldar pulled ahead which is a complete sweep for line breaker warlord first strike and uh, conqueror which is some tertiary points for 20 win okay now moving on to some pictures this has been a fun day so far okay so it's the end of the event and this is jason jason put on an awesome event um it was 15 points we had 18 players show up yep. and it, um it's the path to glory event so tell us a little bit about the path to glory tournament series so I'm going to be running four tournaments throughout the year. This is going to be the first one. The next one's probably going to be in July. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, it's just straight battle points. I'm going to keep track of your battle points throughout the year. So uh, if you scored 50 points in the first event and maybe 40 in the second, you have 90 points after two events. Okay. I'm going to take your three highest scores, add them together, so you don't have to show up to all the events. But th your three highest scores, and at the end, the overall winner is going to win three hundred dollars. Okay, nice. second that's place awesome. is going to get one hundred and fifty dollars, and then third place is going to get fifty dollars. That's pretty cool. That's on top of like the prizes from the tournament and stuff like that. So. Yeah, some really good prizes for those eighteen people. We had Dreadfleet, we had um, Silver Tower as a gift, a knight. We had like two hundred extra dollars in in prize Forge support. Uh, we had a Forge World Horus Heresy miniature. So we're you know bringing the hobby back, like really doing some like awesome stuff here in Barry. Make sure you come check in. Thanks a lot, Jason, for a great event. That was really really fun, really fantastic. And this is Scary, your grateful host, signing off. I did win, by the way. Okay, bye. Hello and welcome to another Tournament Tactical Corner. Talking about my list, um, you can see the link down below for a full description, but it looks like an amalgamation of units, but put together it was a very, very hard-hitting army. Based around an Eldar CAD with Dark Eldar allies. Lots of outflank, the Wraith Knight, the Farseer, Deep Striking, Reserve Manipulation, Fast Obsec Units. On to Game 1. I played a Necron Decurion with a Renegade Knight. Now, I decided to Null Deploy, only putting the Farseer and the Wraith Knight. The game boiled down to me invisibilitying the Wraith Knight, the Wraith Knight jumping in and basically stomping all the Wraiths into non-existence while the Fire Dragons deep struck in and blew up the knight. I tabled the Necron de Curian. That was a very lucky uh, roll for me. Now, the rest of the tournament, the armies looked fantastic. We had orcs, we had chaos, space marines, um, we had a variety of different players from all walks of the general local community. Uh, it looked really good. So, what happened in game three? It was probably, game two was my worst matchup against Taldar. Scat bikes, drone network, storm surge, and a lot of crisis suits that were basically designed to murder my entire army. I was terrified of this list. I was absolutely terrified playing against Fred, who's a great tactician. And once again, I played the null deploy style of force to negate his shooting at me. I deployed out of line of sight and I put the Wraith Knight on the board and some warp spiders. Um, I was aiming for first blood. Luckily enough, my Wraith Knight did not die uh, for the first turn, even after getting seized on from shooting. And I was able to get first blood. And even though I lost primary, I was able to pull some points out of this mission, which I was very excited about, even though I only lost primary by one point. So that was exciting. I thought I was going to lose a lot faster. Um, this is the Salamander's army. 
that was at the event played by Jason using the new Salamander de Curian. And then we even had some out of towners um, from Toronto. Uh, this is the um, Blood Angel Knight that uh, was walking around fighting a, a hell hammer. And then we did have some war convocation and and uh, other armies present in the event, all very competitive builds. Um, you know, even some really cool conversions uh, from players from out of town uh, that have their own YouTube channels. So make sure you check the links down below. Now, on to game three. Game three was my first game ever against a full battle company. It was a lot of objective secured rhinos, and it was one of the tougher, closer games that I had in my first um, the, with the primary mission because it was king of the hill meaning you had to have units near the center of the board and objective secured units are counted as double units which meant that I had to kill a lot of stuff at the end of the game I had killed pretty much everything in his army let's just say strength six really really works against rhinos and the combination of the scatter bikes the wraith knight and the warp spiders really put a hurt on the uh, rhinos i killed a lot of stuff and i was able to pull ahead in that game using uh, maneuverability and deep strike to my advantage this led to game four a blood angel player had made it all the way to the last round and um, his list was quite varied. Scouts for some infiltrating and objective grabbing. He had a knight uh, for some long-range firepower. He had some drop pods, one of them with a flamer Furiosa Dreadnought, two of them with assault squads with melter guns, and one of them with a Kalexus Assassin to do some anti uh damage. So... I null deployed once again. Oh, he also had a couple of Vindicators and a Librarian. And um, he tried to take out my Wraith Knight, which is kind of what I was hoping he would do, go for. Dropping his drop pods far away from the objectives, trying to deal with the Wraith Knight. The Wraith Knight then jumped over the drop pod wall and started killing uh, the um, Vindicators and then went straight for his Warlord that was hiding in his deployment zone, ignoring the knight completely. My fire dragons came in, blew up the knight, the knight then scattered 11 inches into the middle of his army and the knight's explosion basically killed the rest of the blood angel force. So it was just one of those games where luck just clearly wasn't on his side, coupled with a few good tactics uh, on my part and it was pretty much solid um, in that sense. And I was ended up uh, winning the tournament by a total of um, 64 out of 100, or out of 80 points, which was pretty cool. The modeling was awesome. This was probably one of my favorite armies out there. Check the link down below for um, this uh, player out of Perry Sound who has his own painting uh, company. So uh, make sure you check that out. And of course, CJ's Renegade Knight with a. Uh, you know, the uh, the scales and the destroyed um, land speeder that looked awesome. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned and check out the Patreon page to become part of the Scardcast community. Bye-bye.